Gemini. Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Blue Hill Tarot. Today's the 11th of August, 2024. There's a card that just flipped for you, Gemini's Pisces, Cancer, things right below the surface, some confusion, things you need to look out for surfacing next week. We'll put that card back in the deck. If you do happen to have a Pisces or a Cancer in your life, they're definitely thinking about you right now and you're thinking about them. So here we go. Let's throw some cards for the week ahead. General but focused energy around Gemini. This is Blue Hill Tarot. I hope you'll support my channel by liking, subscribing, and please, if you have time to comment, I read all the comments. That's a loving relationship there between you and a water sign, some of you Geminis. All right, here we go. Messages, please. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. If you have time to comment, Gemini, I'd love to hear from you. My big brain Gemini energies. Thank you for stopping. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Messages for Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. This is a weekly reading beginning today, August 11th, 2024. This is Blue Hill Tarot. The energy, the first energy is water. So for some of you Geminis, this may be a reading specific for a specific group of Geminis, but Gemini, you got water around Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. They're coming in with you. They're either thinking very, very much about you or you're thinking very much about them or that you guys are both thinking about each other. And this could be somebody that you have a difficult but passionate relationship with. Somebody that you put on the back burner because you just can't handle what's going on between you right now. The relationship is not over, but you definitely put it on the back burner. Judgment. This is a Scorpio, but it's also the energy of the Phoenix rising. The energy of uh, uh, a metamorphosis of change around you, making decisions and choices, or the water sign you're connected with doing the same. This is uh, things that are missing in your life, Gemini. You're going to be thinking next week, certainly around midweek at least, uh, about things that you're missing, uh, things that you want, things that maybe you want to achieve around your life professionally, around your life personally, around your life in general. You're looking out at the energies of things that you're trying to uh, attract toward you. You need to take better care of your health. If you're not sleeping well, you know you Geminis, you, many of you are insomniacs. You just are awake all the time, thinking, thinking, thinking. Make sure you get some rest, Gemini, or it could affect your health. Also, you could be concerned about somebody in your life that is a water sign who has some health issues. You know, show up for them, Gemini. If they need you, show up. Here's your karma for next week. So there are new relationships around or relationships that you are interested in, whether they're new, old, or in between. They still make your heart flutter. You still are thinking about them. Next week, you could have some energy around relationships, uh, maybe more than you have in a while, or you know, maybe just consistently somebody who you're interested in, they're interested in you, and it's uh, something that's going to be around next week. So this is the energy of hope and inspiration. This is how you're showing up, Gemini. Uh, this is the energy of air. So you show up hopeful around the choices and decisions that you're making. Hopeful about uh, relationships that are new, old, or in between. Even if you've walked away from someone, you're hopeful about the possibility of reconnecting with them. The next energy is uh, good good news around your work and what you need to accomplish there, Gemini. This card says you know what you want this week. Uh, you know what you need to do and you're looking out, standing strong, uh, accomplishing the things that you need to. The unknown variable for Gemini next week is uh, your emotions. Uh, you know, Gemini, you have some choices and some emotional distractions uh, around you next week. Whether they're about relationships that are new or old or trying to reconnect, um, you know, don't let that overwhelm you. Uh, certainly stay focused on what you need to accomplish professionally. There is hope and inspiration around your choices. Uh, there's good energy around relationships that are personal. And the energy says next week will be a good week for you to just show up and tend to your garden. Take care of the things you're responsible for. Uh, you know, many of uh, the people that cross your path or are around us uh, in the world we live in today, they have a lot of responsibilities that they don't 
tend to. So this card is an affirmation for you, Gemini, that you are showing up and you are tending to your garden and you're being responsible and you're working towards an energy of more independence and financial security. There's definitely an energy of insomnia around Gemini next week, but this card could go with you in your pocket all the time. You guys are always thinking, thinking, thinking. It affects your rest. And please, you know, try to tone that out some. And, you know, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, I can't give you any medical advice. <laughs> but uh, certainly for myself, I take melatonin when I need to rest and I'm so tired that I can't. But you do what works for you, Gemini. Let's give you some guidance, oracles, Gemini, Gemini. Oracle guidance for the Gemini, please, around next week's energy. Thank you. You got two. And we will give you uh, some oracle guidance around Gemini next week from the Cosmic Insight. Oracle guidance from the Cosmic Insight from Gemini next week. Thank you. Okay, so your first message is health. Okay, look at this. Health issues could arise. Gemini, please take care of yourself, okay? Put yourself first in regards to your health. It's imperative you do that next week, okay? Uh, put your creative energy into action. Archangel Gabriel joins me to spark your creativity, help you communicate your vision, and motivate you to create something beautiful. Love it, love it after you get some rest and take care of yourself. Here's one, two, have no fear. Fear is a trap of the ego. Allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings holding you back. Big, big message for Gemini. Beautiful message for Gemini. All right, Gemini, have a great week. Be positive, be present. Thank you so much for stopping at Blue Hill Tarot. Please like and subscribe, and I'd love to hear from you. Take care, Blue Hill Tarot.